Well, last time we left off, we were madly working on the wing ribs, and this update is pretty much no different. So here, Jeff is actually popping some of the molds, or at least popping the um, rib sort of plugs out of the molds, and there you can see some that have already been done, and those molds came out beautifully. So this is the way to go, and obviously, you know, we kind of knew that. Um, well, at least Jeff knew that. Uh, anyway, so here, um, I'm just like flat out now, cutting out all the rest of the ribs for the wings and the ailerons. Um, on, the, on the machine there using that uh, two pieces of MDF that's been uh, bonded together so to make an inch and a half thick and as you can see there's plenty coming along so here the guys are just sort of working through them as I'm cutting them and they're giving them a quick sanding and then they're lacquering them and then after they get lacquered uh, the next step is to give them a coat of primer and another round of sanding so as you can see, guys, busy, 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 just ribs everywhere. <laughs> but they're all numbered, so uh, you know we're not losing track of what's going on there at all. Now you're probably wondering why I'm using such a long end mill on this one, and that's basically the one that I've used for a lot of this stuff. It's three eighths of an inch thick um, with a ball end on it, and I actually did order a shorter one, um, you know, a new one for doing this, uh, but it got stuck, uh, or at least we're waiting on a supplier for it, and of course. It showed up um, literally the hour after we finished uh, doing all the all the ribs for the wings and um, and the ailerons. So anyway, but I've got a nice new bit. And that one's all burnt now because it got a little bit hot there for a while. Um, anyway, so let's progress on that. And here, Jeff's busy uh, laying up these different little brackets for the flight controls, the brackets that hold the pulleys and uh, bell cranks. And so you'll see a little bit more of that in a minute. And you're probably sick of seeing these rib plugs, but there's a few more uh, that were done. So I think we did about um, 50 or 60 altogether, and there's about another 30 to go with the four plane and the uh, and the winglets. So here's uh, Keith trimming the ones that were laid up earlier in the week, and uh, he's wearing his interesting little outfit there. It's been really hot this week, so wearing the full the full white suit is a bit much. And uh, there's the ones that he's finished off. And uh, they all came out super nice, and they're all labelled on the back, so we won't mix them up when it comes time to lay those parts up. And here's one of those brackets that Jeff's been creating, and he's vacuum bagged it there. And uh, so you'll see how that one comes out in a little bit. And there's another one there. He's actually used a trash bag on that one to vacuum it. So uh, that's you've done that before, and it worked out really well. And here's the guys uh, sanding. Zach sanding on the uh, lower uh, four plane plug and uh, Keith working on one of the ribs there. Okay, so I promise this is the last of the ribs for this update, but anyway, I thought I'd show you all these. So, guys basically just put all these on cups and uh, lacquered them all. So, they're all ready now to have their uh, first coat of primer sprayed on there. And I believe actually most of them did get uh, primed on Friday, but I missed uh, getting some video. Of that and I'm sure you're sick of seeing all these ribs anyway but you know they're a necessary evil we need them in the wings otherwise uh, the wings wouldn't have any real structure so as you can see there's lots and lots of them <laughs> and here's Jeff laying up yet another one of these brackets I think he actually did about six or seven of them um, on Friday on Thursday and Friday so uh, good progress there nearly all the ones done for the aileron flight controls Okay, so I lied. I did get some video of the ribs being primed there, <laughs> and that wasn't the last time you saw the ribs. Anyway, I'm sorry. I know you're totally sick of <laughs> seeing ribs now. So here's the first of these brackets, and this is one of the ones for the ailerons that uh, lives under the keel. And you can see it's already got the pulleys mounted in there. Those pulleys come with bearings already in them, and we've just got some hardware in there just put in loosely right now. And this is showing you kind of where it lives there in the back of the fuselage there. So it'll be under the keel. And the cables will come from the forward part of the cabin then up there behind that bulkhead up to another pulley up above it. And uh, there's the similar one that's going to sit there in the front and that will go right to where the aileron control uh, goes through the keel and then up to where the sticks are in the front. And here's another one that Jeff did. And so this is one of the ones that basically is up it behind that forward bulk, uh, the aft bulkhead. And now I'm just sort of holding it in position there. So that one is the one that the other one would feed up to. 
and you know if you look back in the previous videos um, from a week or so ago you'll see how it all was laid out anyway so that's where that one basically lives and next up uh, I was actually cleaning up the these two parts the glare shield and the lower or so the glare shield underside and getting them ready for bonding so we're actually going to bond them all together or bond the two parts together and then the goal is um, to have that whole piece there covered probably with some ultra suede um, so that should look pretty nice and here you can see I just mixed up some resin and cabosil and I just joined those two pieces together there and put some rivets in there just to hold it together and those will be drilled out uh, later on and then a little bit of sanding on that and then we'll get it covered anyway that's our update for uh, the second half of this week and uh, thanks again for watching